fade in full. Uh, I was taking a picture with, um, I think it was Conway, Jay Skis, and somebody else. Yeah. You saw that picture? I did see that picture. And speaking of Conway, man, he just did a joint with somebody. Nice, man. I forget. I ain't queue it up. Though. I saw his name on T.I. album. Yeah. Yeah. And he held it down, too. I yeah. forgot about I listen to T.I. and Joy, too. His is, his is, it's T.I., man. It's T.I. It's T.I. But he, I ain't, I ain't hear no joy that I wanted to put on my playlist, though, man. Damn. I really did. <laughs> I really did, B. Yeah, absolutely. But, you know, T.I., to me, he, he one of the spitters out there. T.I., can, he can rap his ass off, man. I like T.I., but I ain't, ain't nothing make my playlist, man. Yeah, ain't nothing make me play this one. Yeah, I, I didn't even give it a shot. I checked out the track list just just to see who was on it. And it's a long joint, too. That's what made me not listen. I'm like, so you killed me. See, that's foul, wow, man. Dude, you, that's, that's 14 is, yo, 14 is max. That, seven, seven is a sweet spot. If you've been there. V, you you've from the there. era of long albums, man. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm not from the era your of long One of your favorite albums, your man. 50. Classic album. <laughs> Bees, don't stop me. Right, but his shit was had, had no skips though. It was that ain't the point. It was long and it was it was long. It was con all right. That's that's, that's a whole other argument, right? But there. he's an exception to the rule. Most classic albums in hip hop are condensed and short. Most of them. Most of them. Eleven tracks or less. Yes, that I can think of. All right, so just name, besides 50, classic hip-hop album. Chronic. See, that ain't on my list. You said in hip-hop, you ain't say on B's list, right, B. Right, right. You ain't say that, man. Right, you so said in right, hip-hop. The Chronic, the Chronic. How many songs on the Chronic? Like 12? More than 11. So you got, so we're not counting skits, just straight songs, right? So you got Dre Day, okay, Let so Me maybe, Ride. Maybe I'm wrong. The niggas did, what the niggas? Came and <laughs> so hold on. Dre Day, let me ride. The nigga, what is the joint? The nigga something. The nigga right. something. Yeah. G thing. Right. These nuts. Ghetto boy. Nigga with a gun. Right. Strain on death row. Right. So that's ten right there. And then you got the maybe the, right. Maybe right. Not the chronic. Get and then bitches ain't shit. That's like twelve. That's twelve joints. We gonna count that. They ain't no fuck the crowd. That's, that's, like, that's like a long ass skit. Ain't even no white uh, on that. Come on, Mr. <laughs> White. Come on, uh, man. Oh, come on, man. man. You gonna make man? All right, come okay. on. I'm in pain right now. Okay, man. maybe that's a point. Maybe that's a point. And doggy style, we know it's like nine. Ill Illmatic is nine. I think Blueprint might got eleven. Um. Biggie first joint? Pain and foot. Uh, Biggie first joint might got like 12. Because you know, this is cassette era. So it's like, it's maybe like six songs on each side. <laughs> <laughs> but is Life After Death considered a classic? Yeah, Life After Death, yeah. So we got joint. one double joint. Double then joint. we go oh, over the pot. Oh, yeah, come on, man. So I'd say maybe 50-50 to your theory. All right, so, but, all right. But my, oh, I originally said, you come from the era where they was putting more songs than, what's, what's your limit? 12? 10? Uh, yeah. Some of come on, man. You come back. All, everybody you was listening to put out long albums, man. Everybody. All your favorite. The Dipset Boy, G Unit, all your D Mob. I mean, Mob D. <laughs> Mob D. All your people, man. All your crew. You bugging, man. You bugging with that, man. Talk about that's what turned me off. How you get what? so new new when it came to the hip hop, man? But they ruined it. They wore it out. In this era that we live in now, they wore it out. The long albums. The beginning of the beginning of the end for me listening to long albums had to be probably around um, like once they figured out. Once they figured out that they could skew the streaming numbers with a 26, 30 song project, it could just get watered down. Even when, see, when Master P was doing it, he was even watering it down. 
Cause he figured like, he figured like in those days he's probably giving you more bang for your buck. You go in the record store, you got choices to make in the record store. Right. It's not streaming, we can listen to whatever we want. Right. So I'm gonna go with the joint with 22, 23 tracks on it, cause I'm getting the same price, fifteen dollars. All right, this joint. All right, I know you nods, but you only got nine joints, but. Soldier Slim got 23. I'm going to go with the Soldier Slim. But, you know, like, in that era, is once you buy it, you're dead. You ain't getting exactly. no refund. You ain't getting no, they can't track how many times you listen to Soldier Slim or nothing like that. But now, it's really about, like, having a bunch of tracks, getting it on playlists. You get it played by accident, you get a check now. Like, it's, I don't like them long ass albums. I would prefer, if I, even from your favorite people. I was happy that Nas album was like short. I was happy with that. My man Prada, I know he's not like major, but his album short. Augustus, six six tracks, short. You know what I'm saying? Who else dropped the uh Push T? Even like the uh the one joint that Benny dropped, the plugs I met. Seven songs. Like that's concise. Like I could rock with a short joint, get to the straight to the point, in and out. Twenty songs. And and out of them twenty songs, we only got three ranges now of moments. That's the fucked up part. What's that? I thought you was gonna say out of them twenty, you only get three or four bangers out of. Them. That's what I thought you was about to say. And that's fucked up. But if the whole album heat, man, you can't. I can listen to twenty joints from one of my favorite dudes at this fire. What you thought about that allegory joint? That joint was long. The allegory. Uh, that's uh, that's uh, that's Roy Stone. Dude, I love that album. I told you I love that album, man. I love that album, man. That I that that album right there let me know I, I had been sleeping on Royce. Mm. Let me know I had been sleeping on Royce, man. That album though to me was kind of like those uh the only person that come to mind right now, and I'm sure if I really just thought about it, I could come up with more. But it's like those album those those kind of like them Pimp the Butterfly albums, you know what I mean? That's how that allegory album is to me, to me, you know? But it still let me know that I slept long. But it's been some heat dropping, B. I can't believe you ain't give everybody a shot. Now that I'm back in the gym, man, you know, I can put on, put on the album, man, and hear it out. So now I'm current. Man, see, I don't even listen to rap when I work out no more. Yeah. I don't even listen to music with lyrics now. Oh, uh, straight motivational features. Straight, man. straight. Well, now I don't even have words, just straight beats, movie scores. Rock and rock, look. Rocky, <laughs> Rocky, Creed. <laughs> He's going, you know Like shit, Transformers, Terminator. Like, I'm on that type of wave. I'm tired of That shit just be like. Damn, me. You're on some next level shit, <laughs> Cause it's like, like it seemed like, like I hate to say it. I hate, I really hate to say this, cause I kind of feel, you know how, you know how you used to watch people like grow out of hip hop. Yeah, I'm not there yet. But just the content, the shit that niggas be talking about, like it just be like, like it's like I could only, like I know, like I could listen to a Royce. Like we was talking, just talking about him. Right. Certain people I know I could listen to. I know I could get some shit from like a Jay Lep or like a. Four, right. four, four, or some nip. Right. Or like, even, I don't even mind, like, like some heavy street content if there's, like, some wisdom in it. But if you just 16 bars and you kill 30 niggas, like, it's just like, come on, man. Like, same. Triple like, beans. Yo. No, <laughs> no you definitely need to get about it. Yeah. If you still use a triple bean, man. Triple bean, man, you know. Come on, Mr. Pussy. Did you see that? I'm just saying, man. You know. You know, God damn, Ro Rose said he can still snatch one off the shelf. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. For decoration? Yeah, I don't know, but he's mad. Snatch yeah. a triple beam off the shelf. It's yeah. I don't even know where you can buy one of them now. Man. A triple beam. That's funny, man. That's funny, man. I was using a. Oh, no, you forgot the joint. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. No, but it's been some heat. It's been some heat, man. Been some heat, man. I've been catching up with everybody, mm -hmm. and I listened to Benny joint, man. He got, 
I got a joint, man. Yo, Conway dropped the joint we call Jesus Crisis. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? Huh? Fire, man. That joint made the playlist, man. Beat and everything. Yeah. He spit. And I... Mm -hmm. Benny got the one. I put a joint, put a, uh, joint off his joint on the playlist. It's been a lot of heat, man. A lot of heat. It's been yeah, dropping. Everybody's definitely giving their respect. They always been nice. I saw, I saw, I saw uh, him and I think his man Heem on Bootleg Cash. I thought that was solid. I thought that was solid. Yeah. I think uh, his man Heem went off like maybe 32. Benny probably spit 16 and then it was out. Yeah, he still, he still, he still got it from what I heard. Yeah. It's crazy. It's crazy. Like, it's crazy to sit back and like, Watch it, like I feel like I had a front row seat for it. That's maybe, true. maybe that's maybe that's why I be like, like you, you kind of feel away when you know you was on something first before everybody else. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So it's like, damn, like why, why I have to go 19 years of spitting fire just to get recognized now? Like that'd be kind of. And he stuck to it. He stuck to his guns. He didn't. I'm talking about Benny specifically. Yeah. He didn't. He didn't change his style. I remember like one of the conversations I had when I'm like, "Yo, you should go commercial, man. Start spitting some." Because he was on like American D Boy Seven or something crazy like that. I was like, "How many D Boy joints you gonna make?" And he's like, "Nah." Now look, he ain't gotta ever spit nothing but. That's the type the of shit that he like. And he don't got to use trap beats. He don't got to rap like Future. He don't got to do none of that, so. Man, somebody just how's, gave how's it up. How's Hit Boy Production on his album? Nice. Yeah? Nice. Nice. I like it. I, I do like it, but I, I, I'm not saying the beats was whack. I just, I like, it's a certain type of beat that I like. You know what I mean? That, and he got one that I had to put on the playlist. That shit was fire. But uh, and a lot of people know that man, cause somebody I might, it might have been bus or bus, man. Cause I, I want, I've been watching uh uh K Nine turn me on. I ain't know the boys off of uh Wild and Out started their own uh YouTube uh, channel called Eighty Five South Boys or Eighty Five South, and they be having like Ti and Busta Rhymes and comedians and. You know, all them on their show, man. And uh, it's kind of set up similar to Drink Champs, except for they look like they call themselves they in the trap house. It was a couch. They got the DJ, you know. They on the couch and in the chair and shit, you know what I mean? And they be, man, they got it. They go on next level with it. Because they be, like, running commercials doing they... And it don't be like other people's commercials. It be stuff that they promoting for other companies. So they'll like pause the, the show and and spit a commercial. But anyway, what I was getting at was, I think it might have been Buster Brown. They gave, they said, man, you know, them boys, man, I'm, I'm feeling Griselda, man. They stuck to their guns, man. You know what I mean? I respect them. Them boys doing a lot out here. I'm like, wow, okay. They, they man, they really, they, man. Especially Benny, man, that motherfucker, he, he ain't eased up yet. I've been seeing a lot of him and a lot of Dave East, man. Dave East out here is doing a lot of work. But I ain't been queuing it up, though. I've just been seeing his name a lot. That's what's up, man. We needed somebody to get in the game and kind of take it, bring it back to that competitive nature that we used to have in the game. You know what I mean? Yeah, he definitely want to go for the top spot. He is not easing up, see? I'm happy for them, man. That's it. I'm like happy for all them boys. I'm glad they repping Rough Buck. And they doing their thing, man. That's it. Hell uh, yeah. I'm happy for them. I can tell it's a, it's a, it's still in, I can tell they still in the honeymoon stage. You know? You but who's tell. next, though? Kadachi. Who's next coming out of town? Augustus. Out of Buffalo, my man Augustus. He next. Um, I like his music. Uh, I like the way he spit up. too. He 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 heating up. He see the see the thing with this is like yo, you could be super nice. 
but it's other intangibles that go into you heating yourself up. You know what I'm saying? Now, my man finally got the videos going, so he warming it up. Okay. So we just got to see if he can maintain that level of consistency. Because he was already he was already doing shows outside town. I didn't know that. So, yeah, he got fans. Nice. Uh, are those fans connecting with the content that he's putting out? That I don't I don't know. I'm not watching him like that. So I, I, don't really, I don't really know. You know what I mean? What his follower count looking like, or even though that stuff matters, you know what I'm saying? But he's nice. I like him. I think he's heating up. Uh, my man Scoop just got his merch going, got his store going. You know what I'm saying? I helped him out with that. Getting his um, shout out to Big Scoop merch store going. So the Hoodlum World is doing anything. Uh, my man Yendo is on the rise. I'm sorry, Big Yendo. I forgot about Big Yendo, uh, man. Oh, uh, I got to mention Hefe Boss up just dropped a video, too. I don't Hefe know if you ever met Hefe. We can talk about He more so like in that lane, the young boy lane, like the baby. Word. Like, yeah, like, yeah. He's keeping that, that, that style of music that my age range want to get out of here. Yeah. He's the front runner keeping that shit alive. Word. But yeah, yeah, he ties do rag to the side. He like he dressed up with the costumes in the video. Like the beat is like it's funny, it's animated, it's real like young boy. Yeah. Yeah, I'm about to pull that drop. <laughs> it was fire though. Like I was fucking with it. Like I'm listening to the lyrics. Like he spit. I don't hate on the, the new music coming out. You know what I mean? No, uh, we just talking about Buffalo Loom. Who coming? Yeah, out? yeah. Um, we got the spotlight right now. Uh, a lot of people like Drake Cash. Drake Cash. He, you know, he on the rise. Um, a lot of people, not everybody. Um, I don't want to forget anybody. I know product back in the lab cooking up. And uh. Pretty soon they're gonna be announcing somebody got signed somewhere, but I can't. Can't give it up. Nah, not yet. That's what's up, man. Not yet. Maybe when they get, maybe when they get their chain, then we announce it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh oh shit, man, my man Priest just dropped some new music, man. How is it, man? That shit fire. I hit him. I put so many fire emojis on his page, like Instagram blocked me. It's on, the, it's on this platform? Yo, that shit is super fire, yeah. Uh, San Antonio is heating up too. But I'm just, see, I'm going down the list of people that I know of and like. There might be some people heating up that I don't I know. I understand you that. Know what I mean? understand that. Yeah, I just, me liking their music, I don't know if that's like a huge cosign, but if I'm checking for it, then there's something, you know what I mean? Like, I check for shit. With nobody checking for it. Like, I remember, like, uh, an artist who shall remain nameless. We just mentioned them, but they, I'll keep them out of this. Begging niggas to listen to him. Yo, you gotta listen to such and such. Yo, he's spitting. Yo, he nice. Yo, he nice. I don't wanna hear that local shit. All right. People, but you sad. People still think like that. Right. Like, you gotta be with somebody or co-signed by somebody wearing a gold chain right. and ride, drive this and rock this and like, it ain't even about that. Like, I like music, so if somebody's shit is hot, I'm fucking with it. Absolutely. Before they get on. Damn, this conversation just went, you know, we got a video on the page that the last time we talked about hip hop that got a lot of views on it. It's one of the most viewed videos on the page. What, what conversation was that? When Griselda first got on. And we you talking recorded about that? They, oh shit, I forgot about El Biz. I can't forget El, El Biz. Biz. I can't forget El Biz. Yeah, man, you gonna have me out here, man. Man, hey. See, don't ask me about no Buffalo rap on camera again. I'm sorry, <laughs> man, but you know more than I do. Like, I barely know half the names you mentioned. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I, I've been saying this. Like, where could I go and find out the whole Buffalo squad or who, you know, repping the town? Like it ain't no catalog or nothing. Yo, I, I made a list. I made a list of Buffalo artists, a playlist on, on title. But shit, I gotta update that motherfucker, man. There's a lot of music dropped since the last time I added Word. some songs to it. Yeah. It's pre preach on the platform? On my album. That's he, it. He let us do it though on the Nah. Preach man. bugging, man. Yo, but you know what though? It takes 
Man, it's like analysis paralysis, man. It take a lot to make that first step. Like people want their first step to be a home run, man. To start, like you had to, to it took for the pandemic to come for me to put out some shit. <laughs> Cause I was on the bench for so damn long. Like people be wanting their first step oh, to be shit. a home run, right. and I think that's him. Cause we know he got the music. Right. We know he got a hard drive full of shit. But just man, start throwing some joints Absolutely. out there. You know what I mean? Like let some shit go, man. Yeah, like yo, let it go, let it go, man. Listen, man. I just spent during the quarantine. Like two of them days, uploaded my back catalog to, to streaming platforms. Some of it didn't. Get, some of it. Some of it didn't get clear. But yeah, some of it. Hell yeah, just just so that just so that whenever I drop some new shit, when you go to my profile, Absolutely. you see that I was already. Absolutely. I ain't just pop up. You Absolutely, know what I mean? man. Yeah, like I got so much shit. My own hard drive full of unreleased shit, <laughs> like lost tapes. Damn, like you gotta put together a lost tape, man. Lost tapes. So I know niggas that still currently active got shit. Like I, I was looking back, like, well, I can't believe I used to record this much. Like, listen to this shit. Damn, why didn't put this out? See that? But it, but it, but it's funny because like we get in our own way sometimes. It's like back when I, back when I would make certain shit that I liked, it wasn't the style that was in, so I wasn't putting it out. I'm probably dealing with that now. Right? I think, I think we see, we still seeing that in the game right now. How you figure? Man, we were just talking about Griselda and Benny and all of them. That ain't what's in it. It's the baby and little baby and you know what I'm saying? They just, they didn't found that man niche that niggas love, man. And they just, man, they just riding that, riding the fuck out of that damn lane, man. You know what I mean? It's still that, that people still love to hear that shit, man. I don't care what you say. But that ain't what's that ain't what's hot right now. It's the baby and little baby and little dirt and, and, and Drake and all that, man, all that stuff. You know that. You know I'm right. Stop playing. You all right. We still see that in the game today, man. I don't know, man. And we had a uh a, a conversation about it before. And we both agreed that it don't matter, man. You still should be putting your shit out. Don't matter. Oh, nah. My, my, uh, I got a new video coming out. I shot a video while I was on quarantine, too. Yeah. So I'm still, I'm still active. But it, I can't get on camera. And on this type of platform where we talking about everybody and throw myself in there, that's what I'm saying. Man, you better throw a plug that's, in there. Nah, I'm gonna talk about my shit when it's time to talk about when me. It's time to talk about your yeah, shit. Yeah, we're talking about time to talk about me, but we're talking about everybody else. And I'm not full time rapping or even trying to full time rap. You know, leave that to the people that's really trying to do that. Now, I just want to put little, out some fire. That little comment, though, man. You said, man. What's that? It's about the style. Hey, people ain't listening for a certain style or whatever. Nah, I don't know. Well, I would say this. Times have. Times have changed. Like in this time that we live in now, you kind of do whatever you want across the board. But back, we talking about like 08, 09, 10, 11, 12. So 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Those are my five most active years when I was trying to do this shit. I could, I could sense, I could, I could listen to my whole catalog and see the switch. Like I came in heavy East Coast. Trying to spit, keep it my deep dip set, Rockefeller influence right. type shit. But once I now this is like fresh home from jail. So 06, 07 was that type of shit. But once I like started actually putting my shit out in the market and seeing what people like, that's when the shit just went left. <laughs> that's when my whole style changed. But I would still make my type of shit that I like. I would still make my type of shit that I like, but I wasn't like forcing it out. And even like when I look at the way I was putting my projects together, it'd be like top heavy with me rapping the South Beat trap beats, mm -hmm. and then at the end I have like the D block. I can see that though. Shit. You I know can what I'm saying? That. But it got it got as time kept progressing and I kept making music, I kept trying to do what. And I think we all, you know, got there. We try to do what we thought would get us on. It really was just a waste of waste of fucking energy. You can't be mad at that though. Nah, shot, some man. of them shits, some of them shits was desperately reaching. 
Word. Some of them. Some of them. I mean, you heard. You heard. Some of them, you know what I mean? like, I heard. But then it comes to the point where it's like, you know, moving in different friend groups and then you make a song by accident and then motherfuckers start loving it like a well, side chick. Like, now we just playing around in the studio. We're not even right. trying no more. Like, right. Tough Life, Side Chick, Bruce Lee. That's like how a lot of hits got made, B. Come on, man. You're a hip-hop historian, man. You know that. A lot of hits got made that way, man. I guess. You know that. You know that's the truth. I guess. I guess. But, man, my legacy can't go down. Once I, I realized once I... Uh, once I linked with Scoop and did the 448 and then came back around to freestyles and then Love Trump's hate, I found my pocket. Like, I just realized I only want to make music that I like at, in my 30s. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> like, Definitely. Like, as long as I made some shit that I know I'm going to fuck with, like, it's, it's good that it's good to make a lot of music and put your shit out so that you know like, like going back, going back to my old shit. If I could listen to it, if I could listen to some of it now, then I was on the right path. I'm gonna stay on that path. Right. You know what I mean? But if I can't listen to it no more, <laughs> get that out of here. Don't ever go back to that style. Leave that shit in the book. Get that shit out of here. Yeah, like it's only like I don't know, like it's but it's like that, it's like that when you listen to other people's shit too. Like when we if we pop in Get rich or die trying right now. It's certain shit that we'll probably skip on it. Cause it's stuck in this time. It's almost 20 years old. You know what? I'ma test that theory. I'ma pop it in, man. One of these days when I'm running errands, man, I'ma I'm 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 cue that joint up, man. And I'ma see. Cause you know that's the joint you play. You when it first dropped, you play that joint straight through. All what was it, 18, 20 songs, something like that? Straight through. Um, it's got, a, it's got, I could think of a few off the, off the rip that I was skip. Now, but when it first dropped, that drum was rocking straight through, D, don't deny it, stop playing, man. Stop playing, man. Don't even do your man like that. Don't do 50 like that, man. Don't, don't keep it real, man. Don't do 50 like that. You know you was rocking that joint straight from beginning to end, man. That's my guy. Yo, you know who, you know who, you know who really, yo, you know who really been consistent all this time, but people been sleeping on? All this Con time. Consistent from the, consistent. And I had, I had to, I just realized this maybe like last month. Consistent since they first touched the mainstream, but nobody really, nobody really gives them the credit they deserve in my Not from the East Coast. Then you lost the who? Master P. How he been consistent? He's still dropping? Yo, the man still dropping music, Mr. West. You lying, he, man. Yo, he got, he got music that go all the way back to the early 90s. Before he got the distribution deal. Then he had the distribution deal with the Ice Cream Man to make him say uh, all that. Then once... Beats by the pound left, and the, some of the artists left. The Soldier Slims and some C Murray got locked up. He came back. He had he had the five four four boys currency. He had uh, Chopper Style. He had he had yeah he had Chopper Style. Yeah, he had, Chopper style. <laughs> yeah, he had. I mean, he had boys, and then then after that, after he burnt up, the, so he had the priority deal. He burnt that up. They was like, yo, we never give you the deal. Like, they made too much of the gold cylinders and stuff. Right. He came out with Universal, dropped music with them. He dropped his albums and other artists' albums with Universal. Wild Cash Money and Bad Boy was there. After that deal went its course. Came back with Koch and was dropping. See, when he went really independent with the Koch, Cause now you can go on the streaming service, you can look at all this. I'm looking at the years like, man, I didn't know he was dropping. He only took a five year hiatus out of 20 years. He came back. Yeah, he got joints with Rick Ross, Jeezy, all these boys. Like, yo, I was like, yo, and this shit fired. Yo, Stop, I, I swear to God, I could go, I could go down a Master P playlist. Yo, this shit that he dropped just this decade alone, 2010 to 2020, he got some heat. 
He dropped deep. <laughs> Yo, Master P. Master P. Uh. Yes, uh, man. Bobby, 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 Master P. Yo, my man called me the other. Well, this wasn't the other day. Like a few years ago, I was like, Yo, man, you heard that new Master P? I'm like, yo, what? Are you serious? He's like, yo, if I listen to it right now, I'm losing your hot sauce. I'm what? like, all right. I was like, yo, this shit good from beginning to end. Now this, now you remember this. I know you had to remember this because I was playing it in the shop when Rulon was there. Master P? Yeah, man, Master P, man. I don't so, remember Master P. P, I'm going to give you your respect. P, P, man, P, P might be the reason that boys is making money now, man. Because before he came along, like everybody, I don't remember, outside of Rockefeller and Death Row, I remember really people doing it. <laughs> like how he was doing it. Outside of Rockefeller and Death Row. Where we could really Nobody see, else. Where we could really see people. You know what? I'm going to take Death Row out the equation. I'm going to take Death Row out. I'm going to take Bad Boy out. I'm going to take them out. Because P was getting his artists, they was really getting paid. The locks was complaining. Mace love, big die, looking moon, look at the fucking the bad boy. That is true. Get them out of here. When Death Row, man, he Master P saved Snoop. That is true. Man, the nigga Snoop was like. <laughs> Snoop was like, Mr. Cohen them called him for a verse. He's like, all right, give me $3,500. Snoop was fucked up. Master P gave him $35,000. For real? Like, yo, what are you doing? <laughs> what? That nigga was, Snoop was finished. When that roll, everybody kind of Snoop out. Once Dre left, Pop died, Snoop was on the ropes. Man, Master, Master P saved Snoop's career. Get the fuck out of here, B. When the last time you listened to the Dog Father? Shit, when, he, when I gave him a good listen, when he dropped that church out. No, I'm talking about that. Oh, the Dog Oh, oh, B, that is right. Oh, oh, yeah, that joint. Yeah, man. Wow, wow, wow. He was done, man. Wow. He saved Snoop, bro. He, okay. yo, all his artists, man, the nigga dropped like 30 albums in one year, man. All his artists, man, it was eating. How the hell you have a roster of 30 artists?